Hi guys, this video is going to be an introduction to Unit 6. So Unit 6 is an investigative project unit and it's a mandatory unit that you'll study as part of the second year of your Level 3 Applied Science course. Now it's quite an involved unit, it involves planning, reading around and then carrying out an investigative project. Now this project has to be chosen and decided in collaboration with your teacher because the last thing you want is to put loads and loads of work in, reading around, writing a beautiful project proposal and then find out you're not allowed to do that project for whatever reason. So make sure you decide on the project with your teacher, it's agreed first, then you start reading around and doing the preparation part. So. This unit consists of three assignments. The first one, you have to write what's called a literature review and a project proposal. Now this will be new. It's something that you might write in the future if you go on to work in science, in research, and you probably do it at university as well when you do research there if you want to go on to university later. So I'll talk about how to write a research proposal and a literature review in a later video. And this is just the reading stage. So you're reading around the background, the theory, previous experiments that have been conducted that are similar to yours in the same kind of area. Now, you have to reference here, of course. Things like Wikipedia do not reference because Anyone can edit Wikipedia, you can, if you wanted to. So Wikipedia is okay as a place to start, but do not reference it. So when you reference and when you do your proper reading, you want to look at things like academic textbooks, journal articles, and so on, peer reviewed journal articles. Then the second assignment, assignment B, that is to do with the planning stage. So this is when you're going to plan your practical, you're going to write an equipment list, you're going to decide when and where you're going to do it. So you, you might have to book a lab with the technicians or your teacher. Um, maybe all your class aren't doing it on the same day, so just check about that. You've got to check, you've got all the materials in. Do you need to order them? Do you need to speak to the technicians or the teacher? You need to carry out risk assessment paperwork, which is tedious, but you've got to do it um, to check, you know, that everything's safe. And do you need to use a fume cupboard? Are you handling anything that's toxic? Is anything flammable? Do you need to keep it away from heat sources and so on? Um, and you might be asked to write a contingency plan. So that's something where you think of all these worst case scenarios and if this happens, what will I do? If this happens, what will I do then? So it's like a backup plan. You're sort of preempting um, bad things that might happen, not really bad, but you know, if things don't go to plan and you've got a backup plan. So the time that you've booked in a lab, you can be as efficient as possible and you're mentally prepared. And then the final assignment, that is where you carry out the actual practical competently and safely and you record your results, you analyse them. So your analysis might be plotting a graph, you might have to do some calculations depending what you've chosen, um, draw some conclusions. You'll need to write a report and eventually you'll have to do like a reflection on the skills that you've gained from doing the project.